Hello guys, so this is where we left off in our last video. We have a show triangle, show quad, show cube and a start stop rotation button. And in this video I'm going to add sliders here. And those sliders will function mm, so that they will translate the 3D objects in, in our canvas. So, okay, first of all, I'm going to add here in the canvas init method uh, translocation, translocation for now it will be just none, then serve that trans x self dot trans y and self dot trans uh, z and set their values to zero zero and zero and one more it will be the translate and it will be an identity matrix so matrix 44 that identity okay i'm going to change this model location its name to rotation rot location or rotation location and uh, here I'm going to change it to so um, refactoring okay refactor rename rot location okay So let me see, this will be called rotate and I'm going to change it in the vertex shader too. So instead of model, rotate and rotate. Okay, so I'm going to create another uniform here, uniform matrix 4. Uh, matrix 4 translate and I'm going to multiply translate so the order here matters so first rotate you need to read it from right to left so first rotate then translate and then apply the view of projection matrix Okay, that's all here. Going to get the translation location. So, name it translock and translate. And this gets the uniforms location from the vertex shader the translate location okay now in the draw method self that translate will be equal to matrix 44 matrix 44 that create from translation yes and I'm going to give it a vector free with the self dot trans x self dot trans y and self 
dot trans z. Okay. And upload this matrix, this translation matrix into the vertex shader using this uniform matrix for FV. So let me copy this, copy paste and this change to trans translock and uh, the matrix will be the self dot translate. So this matrix and I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So now let's create those 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 sliders okay the sliders okay so self dot x underscore slider will be equal to way x dot slider and the parent is self, so the panel id negative one and its position will be uh, let me see 1130 by 180 and give it a size and its size will be uh, 40 pixels wide and 150 pixel tall so let me see it yes we have a horizontal slider uh, I won't, I'm going to change it to a vertical so give it a style uh, vx dot sl underscore vertical so let me see it yes now we have a vertical slider and I'm going to give it one more uh, style which is vx dot sl auto ticks so now we have these ticks here and 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 let me see In next line i'm going to give it a default value which will be equal to zero and create a min value min value which will be equal to let's say negative five and a max value max value and this will be five let me see yes now by default it, it's, its value will be zero because we set it here value zero and for the minimum it goes negative five and for the maximum it goes positive five so okay let's create two more so i'm just going to copy these this will be the x this will be the y slider and this will be the z slider and their position will be on x i'm going to change the x uh, to 11 70 and this to 
12, 1210. So let me see. Yes, now we have three sliders, one for the X, changing the X position, one for changing the Y position, and one for changing the Z position. So now we need to bind these uh, sliders to an event. So self.bind and the way x dot evt underscore slider yes to self dot uh, translate so now I'm going to create this translate method def translate self and the event okay and self dot canvas dot translate x or trans x will be equal to to self dot dot x slider dot get value get value yes do this for the uh, canvas dot trans y and self dot y slider dot get value and I'm just going to copy this and do this for the trans Z and the Z slider that get value. Okay. Mm, I think that's all. Oh, let me try it. So show triangle. Mm, for now, nothing happens. The rotation functions. Oh, okay. When, when it's rotated, it, it translates. But when it's not rotated, it doesn't translate. So, need to double check. Mm -hmm. Rotation, location, translation, location, translate, and uh, transmission, Geo translate. Mm, maybe I need just to refresh the canvas. Let me see. Mm -hmm. But as you see, when I give refresh here, no widgets is visible. When I move the window, it just jumps or so. I don't think it's it's uh, I'm going to cut this out and let's try it to in here so save that canvas that refresh let me see show triangle okay now it works And with the rotation, okay, 
and now when I start the application all the widgets are in, in on their place and, uh, and I think I'm going to scale this a little bit down because when I move too far it, the 3D object goes off screen so let me see here is the slider that get value. I'm going to multiply this by 0.2. Multiply this by 0 0.2. And uh, the Z value just uh, multiply with 0 0.5. Let's see. Okay, now it doesn't go off screen. Hmm. One more thing, as you see in the Y axis, when I move up, <laughs> the triangle goes down. When I move down, it goes up. So. Uh, I think that yes, I want uh, on the x-axis too. When I move up, it uh, to go it to the right. So I'm just going to multiply it by negative two and negative two. So let me see. So triangle. So now it goes right when I move up goes left when I move down and it goes up when I move up down and the Z is okay it goes far when I move up and it goes closer when I move down so I'm going to create a label for these uh, sliders in the next video so label it X, Y, and Z. Okay, thanks for watching.